I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 3 laptop. The exact model is an Acer Aspire 3 model A315-41 series. The subdivision model is an R7WT. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can uh, increase the performance of these models, this laptop dramatically by just replacing the hard drive or and what are the combinations that you can have and what really bothers me about this upgrade that they included in here, the way that they built this one. Okay, mostly they do come shipped out with one terabyte, two terabyte mechanical hard drive. That's the bottleneck for the system. So I recommend you guys to remove that one, remove that one terabyte storage or two terabyte mechanical drive and replace it with a solid state drive. I'll leave the link for a really good solid state drives in a video comment. And our, in this laptop, you can add an M.2 NVMe hard drive, but it is up all the way inside the motherboard, so you just have to remove the whole cover. I recommend you guys to grab an NVMe hard drive. Samsung brand is really durable. And get the pro version if you want, a little premium, but it will last you longer. And grab yourself one terabyte SSD, or if you wish, you can keep your main hard drive as a backup storage, but you can ins install the M.2 and put your windows on M.2 where it's much, much faster than regular SSD. All right. Just remember, once you do hard drive replacement, you're not gonna have any operating system on the new hard drive. So pretty much you have to install the windows fresh installed on any of them. Uh, I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 and 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description if you guys don't know how to create your Windows USB boot drive. Once you create it, I also made another video how to install it properly on your laptop. It takes literally about five to 10 minutes and you're really set to go in five to 10 minutes so you don't have to worry about anything. Regarding your Windows license key, if you have an original Windows before formatting, go to the Windows options and link your Microsoft account to your Windows and that way your license key will be associated with your uh, Microsoft account. So after formatting, you just simply put your Microsoft account on the Windows and it will automatically activate the Windows for you. So that's another one. All right, so in this video, I'm just gonna do a uh, open it up and show you guys how you can remove and add the hard drives. For first thing first, power up, back up your files. You wanna flip upside down the laptop. And right away, we can see those two covers in here. I made a video how to upgrade the RAM, which is under this cover. And this cover over here, it is for the hard drive for 2.5 inch SATA or SSD hard drive. I mean, for the hard mechanical one or for the SSD hard drive 2.5 inch. But to get access to that M.2, you have to remove the whole cover on the bottom, which is just kind of ridiculous. They could have just left a little extra space right here so you can add the m.2 right through here make this cover a little bigger or something but they no, they just want to put here so people don't realize they do have an m.2 st slot available all right so i'm gonna grab my iFixit screwdriver set and we're gonna grab the phillips number one and if you get the pro set of the I iFixit screwdriver set, they will include you with the tweezers and some opening tools. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening this service. This laptop has one screw hole cover broken, so yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove all the screws on the bottom cover, starting from one corner. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to do your own upgrades and servicing, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Don't forget to remove the screws in the middle on the covers too. You need to remove all of them. All right, now that we remove all the screws, just for those people that don't want to remove the whole cover, they only care about re replacing the mechanical hard drive to an SSD hard drive, they don't want to go through the whole thing to replace or add the M.2. You don't have to remove all the screws, all you need to do is remove these tiny screws and put your fingernail around here and lift it up. I don't have a fingernail, so I'm gonna put a screwdriver right there. 
and lift up this cover really hard upward and then you get access to a mechanical hard drive right here then what you want to do you want to remove four screws one on each corner almost the black one and these are for the carry that holds the hard drive in place so remove these four screws Once you remove these four screws, you have to be very careful. You want to lift it up from the back side upward gently, just about 10, 20 degree. And you want to slowly bring it to the side. You want to yank this flex cable. You want to put your finger on the adapter, not on the cable, and pull the adapter this way. And from that side, release it like that. Now, there's a two terabyte mechanical hard drive. These are low profile hard drive. It, it can be a tech one. You have to make sure you get a low profile. Any, you can grab up to two terabyte low profile hard drive, but make sure you remove this screw right here, this one right here, and this one and this one, and remove it and grab your new SSD, new mechanical drive, put it right there, make sure the orientation for SATA is in the same so you don't put it that way around, otherwise it's gonna be flipped like this, and put the screws on the new one. The SSDs, they are low profile, so it doesn't matter what SSD you use. Again, they have the four screws on them, the same entrance, so pretty much you remove this carry with an aluminum and place it right on top of this uh, SSD. All right, so this is how you replace the mechanical one to an SSD or to a different mechanical one. To pl plug it back in, at the end of the video I'm going to do it, just bring it on the side and push in and bring it, put it down. So that's, if you just want to go as far as this one, only upgrade this one, that's all you need to do. But if you want to add the M.2, you want to remove all the screws, remove the hard drive in here, and then you want to grab yourself the opening tool, and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there, and you just want to flip it like that, and you want to hear those big click sounds. You want to do this all around. I'm sticking the guitar pick about one or two millimeters. I'm not sticking the whole thing in there. Okay, once I did the sides and the front, I'm going to close it, I'm going to grab the bottom cover, wiggle it around, and it will release the bottom cover. It's simple. All right, and right away we can see the M.2 right here, and they do actually provide you with a screw. And the screw for this one, it's a Phillips 0. So grab Phillips 0 and remove this screw right there. A little tape on it. Once you remove the screw right here, now you can grab your M.2 and you want to bring it down in 45 degree. Make sure the notch matches the notch right there. There's a notch right there. And you bring it in 45 degree and you want to stick it all the way in. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard. Make sure the screw hole matches. And then you just want to put the screw right on top. And that's how you put the M.2 right on the motherboard. To remove it, just remove one screw and just slide back the M.2 straight this way like that. Don't yank it upward. And that's how you can add the M.2. This is for demonstration. I'm not actually, the client doesn't want to add it. So that's how we do it. Now, we're going to put the cover back on. Just bring it straight over and push down front. Make sure you hear those click sounds. Okay. And then all you need to do is to grab the other hard drive that you have. Make sure the adapter goes in all the way in. Put the front side in there. And stick it down. And the rest is really easy. Just put the two, four tiny screws on the main hard drive here. And put the cover, slam it on, and put the rest of the screw. Okay, once we put the four screws for the caddy, all you need to do, grab the cover. This cover go with the, you wanna put this side of the cover down on the left side, and then squeeze down the side, make sure it goes all the way here. And the last thing is to just slam down all the screws which are the same size and height on the bottom cover. Again, I hope you guys like this video and it helps you guys to do your own upgrade for your Acer Aspire 3 laptop. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.